I think the most challenge is like the most difficult part is like Chinese. Uh, one of the challenges is the language barrier. You know, there's uh, no job in China, so we don't have. <laughs> yeah, to. for students. Yeah, yeah, for students, there's mm. no job. In so Chinese, like the foods. The Chinese food. Yeah. Spicy food. The spicy food. You don't like spicy food. Oh no, the uh, spicy food. So, YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm actually right here in Shanghai, China, and I'm currently in a university in Shanghai. Um, today I'm going to be interviewing students, international students, about their lives in China, about the challenges they face as an international student here in China. So make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as most of my viewers, you know, and aren't subscribed to my channel. So let's go. What, what is your name? Madina. Uh, which country are you coming from? Actually, I was born in Turkmenistan, but then I moved in Russia because my mom is half Russian and my father is Turkmen. So I have two citizenships. So I came from Russia to China. What is your name? Uh, Zhang Haoyi. Uh, where are you coming from? Philippines. Okay. AKA ha Philippines. How long have you been living in China? 12 years. 12 years. Mm. Okay. Uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Taku. Um, where are you from? I'm from Zimbabwe. How long have you been living in China? Uh, I've been living in China for the past two and a half years. Yeah. Um, what is your name? Uh, my name is Dwayne. Okay. Um, where are you from, Dwayne? I'm from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. How long have you been living here in China? Uh, for the past two years, boss. Two years? Yeah, two years. Okay. My name is uh, Fatallah Khalufi. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Morocco. Okay, how long have you been living in China? It's about about two years now. About two years? Yeah, I was in Hanzhou now. I moved to Shanghai. Oh. Okay, what so, is your name? Oh, my name is Raymond. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Ghana. How long have you been living here in China? Uh, I think uh, six months now. Uh, six months? Yes, please. Yes. So what is your name? Uh, yeah. uh, how, how long have you been living here in China? Uh, I just came last year. Okay. Where are you from, Nazar? I'm from Niger. Niger? Yeah. Okay, West how long Africa. have you been living here in China? I'm in China since uh, 2019. 2019? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Mohamed, Mohamed Domini. Uh, how long are you from? I'm from Mali. Mali? Yes. Mm. How long have you been living here in China? Uh, I can say only one year. Um, what is your name? Praise. Praise? Praise. Oh, okay. Where are you from? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Um, how long have you been living here in China? Well, I've been here for four years. Four years? Mm, four? About, no, actually about five. Um, I'm Yi Chen. My Yi Chinese name or English name? English name. Uh, Jarens, J-A-R-E-N-Z. -E you can call me Jia. Uh, where are you from? Philippines. Uh, how, how long have you been living here in China? Oh, let's say five to six months. Okay. My name is Joe. 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 Yeah. Um, where are you from? I'm from Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast? Yeah, Ivory Coast. Uh, it's also called, uh, I think, Cote d'Ivoire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. So how long have you been living here in China? Uh, just, uh, I say, I think, eight or seven months. Okay. Oh, my name is Tony. Tony? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe. Okay. How long have you been living here in China? Oh, I've been living here in China. This is my fifth year. Okay. What, are you, what are your names? My name is Jawad Afnan. Um, and my name is H.M. Joel. My name is Barna. My name is Anamika. My name is Ace. Uh, where are you guys from? Uh, we are from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. We are uh, all from Bangladesh. Uh, how long have you been studying uh, here in China? It's almost uh, seven months already in here, China. Uh, my name is Abinader. People call me AB. Oh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from East Africa, Ethiopia. Ethiopia? Yes, sir. Uh, so how long have you been living in China? I've uh, been living in China for now, it'll, it'll be like seven months now. Seven months? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why China? Why China? It's cheap. <laughs> uh, uh, hot chicks and good food. Uh, because China is uh, the fastest growing uh, country in technology. And since I am a software engineering major, uh, this is the uh, like the most suitable country for me. Okay. Um, 
I could say a lot of stuff, bro. But China, it's China. It's better than my country, bro. Like, yeah, from Africa, there's a huge opportunity for me to be in, here in another foreign country. Plus, China has a lot of opportunities for us black men. We can do something so we can improve our families' lives. So, yeah, China is good. Um, so I choose China because of different reasons. One of them is there's a lot of opportunities and China has good quality of uh, school and a lot of things, yeah. So and I'm interested in Chinese culture, so... Okay, okay. So why did you choose China as your destination for study? Yeah, yeah because I, I wanted to study uh, software engineering and I think um, China has the best technologies and this with AI developing and all that, I think um, China is advanced in, uh, in uh, IT and technology, so that's my main reason why I, I came here. Huh? Uh, because China, there's a lot of opportunities to make business and I wanted to learn the language, that's why I came here. Uh, so I chose China because nowadays, you know, China is, uh, I can say, the most advanced economy and uh, technology mm -hmm. stuff. So. Uh, so why China? Why did you choose China to study? Uh, yeah, just to discover new things, you know. Uh, and I'm also I like also uh, Chinese language. So and uh, China is also developed in terms of technology. Mm -hmm. So I'm here for that software. You no, know. that's why I came here. Well, uh, I like Chinese people. That's one of the first things that I chose China for. I like Chinese people, and I also. Um, I think it's just one of the best countries that you also you could also want to study in. Yeah, just hearing of it, I, I was just interested, and as well, um, I think yeah, it's just good to study here. I think those are the basic things that I thought of. The Chinese people, I just like being around them, not knowing about their culture or anything. I like being around them, and I also like their language as well. Okay. <laughs> because uh, before my mom works here, he, she suggested that I should go study here because of the like uh, teaching mediums or stuff. That's it. There's no other reasons. China, maybe China culture. Because there is a lot of things in China culture that we can maybe appreciate to to to, to live a better life. Uh, okay. What do you love about China? Um, to be honest with you, uh, the safety, uh, the freedom, and then uh, the education is great too, and the people. Wow, the people are nice. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I love about China. Um, yeah. What are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? I think the most challenge is like the most difficult part is like Chinese, speaking Chinese. I learned Chinese before when I was in my home country, but it's still kind of difficult for me right now. But when I moved in Russia, it felt different. Even though it was my first like experience like to immigrate in another country, it was hard. But when I moved in China, I felt like I'm in my home country. It feels like home. I don't feel anxiety. I don't feel like dangerous. Nothing. I feel like I'm at home. Even though I don't speak fluent Chinese, Chinese, it's still okay for me. So what are the challenges you faced as an international student studying here in China? Too many Chinese words that I couldn't understand, and I'm still uh, trying to, like. You know, I'm know more about it, and right now it's still like only still in the like average level. The language, language is okay, but the most problem that I have is characters. So the language barrier is not a problem for you. Yeah, it's not a problem. I'm kind of fluent on it right now. So, um, what are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? Uh, one of the challenges is the language barrier. Like not all like Chinese people are comfortable like to speak English, so me as a foreigner, I don't, I also don't know their language, so the language like is a barrier. But like some of them like they speak very good English, so uh, they are improving in that, so it's getting better. Okay, so is it only the language? Yeah, that's the only problem. What about the food or like? Ah, uh, the food is amazing here. 
the food is amazing it's just that we don't know some of the food so we are afraid to try it but like the food is amazing here so far everything I've tried is amazing so what are the challenges you face as an international student here in China uh, it's the language barrier really the language barrier plus uh, yeah I think it's the language barrier and uh, Chinese people at times I don't know if it's racist or they don't know black people I don't really know but sometimes when you're in the bus when you're sitting right they they, they leave you they don't want to sit beside you and stuff like that but other than that I don't know it's, everything is good yeah so what are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China uh, yeah first of all it was language because as you know like i um, been in China for about two years but my Chinese are is really bad but I hope I can improve my Chinese yeah okay so it's only the language what about the food and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. also the food yeah, yeah first the eating I was eating only in Xinjiang because you know I'm Muslim but yeah you just have to cook man if you cook it's good yeah okay Okay, so what are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? Yeah, mostly, mostly it's, it's all about the language barrier, you know. When I first landed at the airport, everyone was like speaking Chinese and I was like, I'm lost, I'm lost. Like, I don't know, I didn't have the, I didn't have the WeChat installed and all that, so it was very difficult. But uh, I got one um, Chinese listener to, to, how to speak English and then he, he helped me out, so yeah language uh, so it's just the language but yeah what about the Chinese food or Chinese culture are you finding any difficulties around that no I think um, the Chinese food um, when I arrived here I I am open I, I am open personally I'm open to like taste all um, foods so the Chinese food has never been a problem for me because uh, I can eat everything uh, we're from the west side of Africa so hey we, we taste everything unless it doesn't go well with the tongue but for me, I've literally eaten everything and I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? Mm, I can say a lot of things, but most of the things, um, the thing that remain every time is like the foods. The Chinese food? Yeah. There's a lot of oil and sometimes it's like it's it's true that maybe it can be healthy but the thing is in our country we don't eat like this then sometimes you used to eat it but it's not what we like exactly we then I have to cook at home but when I'm not home then I eat in the canteen or anything like this but after that I can say that everything is okay because if you need help for something anything like this you can ask directly to a Chinese even if you don't know that Chinese it will help you then that's good so the language is not a barrier for you that's why I said I should I want to learn the language but I think if you learn it very uh, um, hardly then you will know how to speak Chinese. Yes. Okay, so what are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? Uh, before I say, I can say when I first come is the language barrier, you know. If you don't speak any Chinese, it's going to be hard for you. And the communication and stuff. Yeah, what about the food and the Chinese culture? The food, the, I think is it's, it's nice. Food so you like Chinese food? food? Yeah, I do. Every Chinese food? I, I cannot say every. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So for you, the challenges are just related to the language barrier. Yeah, to the language. When I first come, but now I can say I can speak Chinese. Okay. Oh, you can speak Chinese now. Yeah, but How not that fluently. How long did it take you to learn Chinese? Uh, one, one year. One year. Uh, just one year. Oh, that is good. So what advice do you have for someone trying to learn Chinese? Just to keep pushing up on the... Uh, to keep uh, because I've practicing. In, because I've talked to a lot of people. Keep I've talking talk with Chinese people and try to have some friends who are going to be... Chinese friends. Yeah. What are the problems you face as an international student uh, studying here in China? Well, since I came here, I can say like, uh, no problem, just uh, in class, some of the teachers, 
can't explain it well, but it's okay, it's fine. So we can manage our, ourselves to understand uh, a lot of things. So in technology, you know, you can find everything in the internet, so it's fine. So what, what are the, the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? What are the problems? Well, I think, um, I can't say there are problems that come from studying in China only because everywhere there are problems. So I guess I can just say that um, maybe, well, I can't say it's because of studying in China because I should expect that. <laughs> We can uh, have trust anywhere we are. So I can just say, um, when it comes to Chinese, but anything I expect, I was expecting anything. They, we are different people, so I was just open for everything. Differences that needs that need you to adopt to, and sometimes it will be hard. Yeah, I can say that. And another thing that I tend not to really like is okay. I was surprised with the dormitories for real for me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Only me, mostly, I, I, I wasn't expecting something like that exactly, but it's okay, yeah. it's okay. So I think that's the only challenge that I think that I just... What about the language, the language, the food? Well, the language is okay. I was actually, like, I wanted to feel that um, challenge of learning Chinese, looking at those characters and how fast they speak. But now when you're now able to speak it, you can now understand, oh, there's actually... When you're now knowing the characters and all that, you feel like, oh, it's actually understandable and interesting. Yeah, and the food. Well, food... I, I guess I should just say, I didn't really see... <laughs> I was surprised, oh. and I like it. <laughs> yeah, only the chili that we <laughs> like. The, the, the chili. Yeah, the spicy food. The spicy food. You don't like spicy food. Oh no, the uh. spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what are the the challenges or problems you face here as an international student? Mm. Probably the uh, language barrier because I can't understand any Chinese at all. That's it. That's the challenges. What, what the about the Chinese food and maybe the cultural differences? Are there any issues around that area? Mm, I don't have any issue because uh, back in my home country, my mom used to like <coughs> cook some Chinese food so we can taste it. The challenges or problems you face as an international student studying here? Uh, the challenge, the first one is the language. So language barrier yeah the language barrier chinese people don't speak fluently english they speak chinese that's mm. the main problem so for us we must study first chinese also mm. to talk with chinese people to make a friend mm. that is the first barrier i think so what about the food the chinese culture chinese food chinese culture is okay i think it's okay it's okay so you love chinese food yeah of course which one is your favorite uh maybe jiaozi or maybe Baozi in Shanghai here. Okay. It's so it's so delicious. Oh, uh, the Baozi, it's the it's the like the bread with the meat inside. Yeah, yeah, the the the, the white one. Uh, and the Baozi, it's the dumplings. Right? Yeah, dumplings. Okay, so they are your favorite. Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. So, um, what are the challenges you face as an international student studying here in China? Well, you know, it's like, as long as you are in a foreign country, you always have challenges. No matter what, they can do everything they can to minimize the challenges, but challenges are always there. Mm. Like, at first, uh, when I arrived in China, the first challenge was language, and everyone can agree about language barriers. But as time moves on, uh, you interact with people, you talk to a lot of people, you gain um, the experience, you start learning the language, you start to understand the flow of the language, and then you understand. Secondly, it was about culture. You know, um, most of us we are used to, to Western culture. Yeah. But if you look at the Chinese people, mm -hmm. they are deep, deeply rooted into their culture. So if you want to be close to a Chinese person, 
make sure even if you might not like the culture but make sure you like it you support them you show appreciation you show that you love their culture be interested in learning their culture in that way you gain their trust you gain their friendship and secondly the other thing uh, that was a challenge uh, actually for now uh, it's no longer a challenge but uh, back there it was a challenge because when you came here in China everything was fine when you arrived and then COVID happened which changed a lot of things you know when you came before COVID happened there are a lot of hassles you could not only depend on your family to support you you could do something for yourself and you can get something even if it's not much but it's a start yeah. but when COVID happened everything changed those are ourselves they disappeared and everything went off and then you know as time moves on you have to change yeah. they say growth may uh growth may not bring change but there's no growth without change mm -hmm. so whatever you are doing you have to adapt to solve the changes to solve the problems that you are facing and everything China, yeah. so, so what are the challenges or problems you face as an international student studying here in China? So before I came in to China, I didn't learn any basic Chinese. Mm -hmm. So that would, that would be probably my fault. But the language barrier is the biggest flaw here. But other than that, there is no problem. No problem. Yeah. What about the food, the Chinese food, the Chinese yeah, I love culture. experimenting. I love experimenting, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. with the food, uh, all you have to do is risk it. And then it's actually good. Yeah. It's healthy, you know. Like, they have these herbs you can try. It's, it's good for your health. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite Chinese food? Uh, Baozi. Baozi. Everybody mm, likes Yeah, Baozi is good. Uh, yeah, and then uh, the other thing is dark. The dark, the dark, yeah. yeah. The way they make it, like the crispy thing, the like a crema, uh, like they use some kind of ca candy crispy type thing. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's oh. great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what do you what do you love about China? Well, uh, about China, that's one thing uh, in common that I can say about China. Uh, mostly, the Chinese, they are hardworking. Mm. Uh, as for me, like, I am someone who works with time. If I say I am doing this from this time to this time, or if I say I have a meeting from this time to this time, that's the time that I work with, time management. And when it comes to the Chinese people, most of the ones that I've interacted with, they are good at time management. And they are straightforward. If they like something, they tell you there and there. They don't have that term of going around, beating around the bush like sugar-coating things. They'll tell you direct, like, this is not going to happen, this is going to happen. Which is something that you don't waste time doing something because you have been sugar-coated. Mm. They just go direct there and then, make things straightforward without sugar-coating everything. So yeah guys, as you guys saw from the video, most of the international students here, most of their problems are language barrier. Like every, it's the same thing for me also, I can't lie, you know, the language barrier is a problem for international students here in China. Shanghai specifically, even though Shanghai is a big city and you know, people might be thinking uh, there might be a lot of Chinese people who can understand English or who can speak English and so on and so forth. You know, it's probably the same thing everywhere in China, I guess. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, you know, as that will help me, help motivate me to create more videos. So stay tuned. Bye.